Okay, uh, let's look at uh, homework 3.1, 3.2, number 5, right? So we want to uh, evaluate this limit, right? So let's do that. All right, so first thing I would do is uh, plug in H and uh, see what happens. Uh, so a plug in H equals 0. So here, uh, new uh, denominator obviously goes to 0, right? Then if you plug in 0 for h, so that's 0, so you have a 2 square root of a minus 2 square root of a. So you can see that uh, here, numerator also goes to 0, right? So this indicates that, that there should be um, a common factor on top and bottom, uh, namely h, right? So to squeeze h out of the numerator, uh, here's the trick uh, I would I would use. Uh, remember that uh, if you have uh, a minus b uh, times quantity a plus b, this is can be written as uh, a squared minus b squared, right? All right. First, uh, let's see. There's a two here and uh, 2 here. So I'm going to pull that out first. So uh, let's see, I'm going to go down here, right? So 2 is just a constant multiple. I can put it outside of the limit, right? So that the limit gets a little bit cleaner. So you have a limit as uh, h approaches 0, right? So you have square root of uh, a plus h minus uh, square root of a over h, right? Then we multiply top and bottom by, right? Almost the same thing as the numerator except for the sign. So you have square root of a plus h plus square root of a, right? And we have to do the same thing to the denominator so that uh, we don't change the quantity of the limit. So just put exactly the same thing on the, on the bottom. All right, then if you multiply out, this is what you get. Uh, let's see, two is still there and we will uh, evaluate the limit later. So h approaches zero. All right, so on top, you have a minus b times a plus b form. So this guy is square. Uh, when you square the square root, square root is gone. So you just get uh, a plus h. All right, minus all right, b square, or this guy is square. Again, square root is gone, so you're just going to get a. And on the bottom, you really can't do much, so I'll just write the h times square root of a plus h plus square root of a. All right, so we have that. All right, so you can see that there is a here minus a, so they cancel out. All right, also, now I can see a factor h on top and a factor h on the bottom. So we can cancel those. So you just get one on top, All right? Then you can just plug in uh, zero. So you can see that, uh, so two is still there. So two times, right? One on top, right? Then we plug in zero for h. So you have square root of a plus zero, because h is now zero, goes to zero, and a square root of a. Right, so this is going to be all right. So two times one is two, and over. All right, so this is a square root of a plus zero is uh, just a square root of a. You have another square root of a, so you have two square root of a. Right, then we can actually cancel two on top, two on the bottom. So you will get simply one over square root of a, right? 
So that's the limit, All right? Let's try to plug in and see uh, if it's correct, All right? So it's going to be one over square root of a, All right? Let's check the answer, All right? Got that correct. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.